So let's uh, take the opportunity and do a real life uh, test here. So I was just editing uh, videos and my uh, Logitech uh, Bluetooth mouse just powered off uh, just uh, seconds ago. So now let's uh, open it up, see if we can fit a batterizer in it. It is a uh, nickel metal hydride battery, but uh, again, for a boost converter it shouldn't be a problem. I won't uh, recharge it with the batterizer in it, of course. Which makes me think if that is even possible. Uh, we can test that as well. If I could even get the battery in. Seems uh, to be kind of a challenge. So it, it just fits. I don't know if you saw that. Um, well, let's... It just fits in. You have to really force it, and it took me like a few minutes to get it in there. But uh, it did power on, and what do you know? We're back to full power. Amazing, huh? But of course, that's because it's a boost converter. It will always show full power. Another disadvantage: all your battery gauges will basically be useless because it will just suddenly switch off, or it might go in a few seconds from full. To dead. So now let me go and uh, I'll time this. I'll see how much longer time I can get out of this um, using the batterizer. So back to editing videos. So the mouse uh, finally died again as you can see here. It basically turns on at two bars then goes down to off and it just keeps cycling like this. Oh, one bar this time. But you see, basically it goes from two bars to dead, instantly. So your battery gauge is worth nothing anymore. And uh, usually I charge this mouse like once a week. And we need to get uh, significantly more power out of it by using the batterizer, of course. That's what they claim. Or plenty uh, more, or however they, they put the words. Uh, so how long was it? Uh, 19 minutes and 45 seconds uh, compared to uh, it running a week before I put in the batterizer. So basically worth nothing in this uh, Logitech mouse. And I wonder how on earth I'm going to get that out of there without shorting everything. Let me turn off the mouse and uh, this is not very easy. Can't get the bloody thing out of there. So I had to really go to town with the screwdriver then. You can see the tap on the batterizer got uh, caught in the in the mouse and uh, it didn't break but it bent over. I'm sure I can bend it back but that would only work a couple of times. So it doesn't fit and it doesn't help either. Um, now granted this is a rechargeable battery which they don't actually mention anything about so they could just come and say hey idiot you used the wrong type of battery. Well okay. But it also works on normal alkaline batteries so uh, <laughs> I'll bet you that's the exact same story. I'll give that a test also. So I've been using the Logitech mouse with a uh, alkaline battery now and it's uh, started flashing red meaning that it's very low power uh, and just before it dies I wanted to measure the in circuit voltage of the battery. Now it's not that easy in this mouse because the negative terminal is way down there uh, but I think I can reach it uh, and the positive is easy to get at. I couldn't quite reach it, so I'm going to do something slightly naughty here. Just wrap a wire around the back side of the battery. If you do this, you need to be very careful because you can easily uh, short things out. The positive terminal is the case on the battery also. So if one of the uh, strands get in underneath the insulation, you can short things out. So just pulling out the battery for a few minutes uh, was enough that it initially started at two bars, but now it dropped down to one again. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but 
you can actually hear the switching of the boost converter inside the mouse. So there's definitely already one in there. So at one bar the voltage is 1.28. Now it just switched over to flashing red. And when I'm waving something in front of the sensor, you can see it's down to 1.21. And dropping, but 1.3 volts is one bar. 1.2 volts it starts uh, flashing red. So apparently the flashing red is not the lowest. Uh, it's got a solid red as well. Uh, I've been using it for a while with the solid red, so so this is not exactly where it switches over, but if I just wave my finger in front of the sensor here to wake it up, you can see we're down to 1.16, 1.16 Five. Oh, yeah, it goes down to 1.16 and it is still running so that took way too long before it powered off and the voltage now this is open circuit voltage it's it didn't want to power on again but it's 1.136 volts and slowly climbing up so if I leave it a couple of minutes, uh, I might get to the point where it actually turns on again. But I won't leave it more than just a few minutes because I want to get the battery in there and see if it uh, it works. So if I wait until tomorrow, it uh, would probably power up again and uh, work a bit uh, without putting the battery in. So I won't do that. And it just powered up at uh, 1.147 volts. Um, and I'll turn it off again. And I'll stick the battery in it and I'll uh, take note of how long it runs. And I don't think it's going to be much because there's basically nothing left in that battery. But we'll see. So let's see if I can get this riser in here this time without breaking it I managed to get it in but I had to use a lot of force turn it on and what do you know full power <laughs> oh no power let me go to the computer and see if it's actually on or if it's uh, if it's cutting out. So here we have it. It just uh, switched off now, and uh, I must say I'm a little bit surprised because it's uh, three days later. Uh, I didn't use it that much, but around six hours uh, runtime, and then of course it was on standby for uh, most of the day uh, for the three days. But it uses very little power on standby. Now this is with the uh, alkaline battery. Um, and I haven't tried using it with a fresh alkaline to see how long that lasts. I probably should have done that, but then the video would be delayed several weeks. I used a fairly dead one, which I put on, uh, which I put in the mouse, and then I used it until it uh, turned off. That took about uh, six or seven hours, maybe. Uh, then I put on the batteriser and it lasted uh, another six or seven hours. Um, it does though if you turn it off, you turn it back on, it shows full bars, but when you start using it, it just drops straight down to almost zero. It will still work f for a couple of minutes, five minutes maybe uh, when you turn it on again, um, but it's basically dead. So let's pull it out and see if we can measure the open circuit voltage of the battery. So here we have that. And this is, yeah, you can't really use this for anything, but it is below where the mouse would turn on without the battery. I think it was 1.15, wasn't it, where the mouse would turn on. If we slip it into the battery. Oh, did I break it finally? No, it still works. It only boosts it up to 1.4 though, but 
uh, enough to turn on the mouse and then when you start using it it just dies but I don't know if I can s focus in on this I can but you can see I basically broke it either by putting it in or taking it out of the mouse it won't last very long uh, if you're going to use it for this it's completely bend over here. I could probably straighten that but again after a couple of times it would break. So I had trouble fitting it both into the watch and into the mouse and also into the flashlight, the mag light. Uh, it's scraped against the sides but it did fit. But You can see I've removed some of the anodizing there. That could be a problem because the case on a alkaline battery is the positive terminal and the sleeve here on the batterizer is the negative terminal so if that somehow connects together then you have a problem because it will short out the battery um, yeah but again it it's not likely to happen on the inside and not likely to happen to the battery as well when you have it inside the oops I put it the wrong way when you have it inside the batterizer Anyway, I'll put a fresh alkaline in the mouse. So in the next video we will take a look at the results and, and come up with some kind of, I don't know, wrap it up, make a conclusion or something. So it's been a month or 29 days since I put the, the AA battery in here without the batterizer. And the mouse actually didn't uh, shut off yet, but it is on uh, low battery, so it's it's been that for uh, a few days. So it's it's going to die soon and if we compare that to the amount of extra life we could get out of the battery uh, using the batterizer uh, yeah not really worth it and if you put the batterizer on the battery to begin with when it's fresh then it wouldn't last as long <laughs> um, so yeah that's that well, actually I wrote the date on here uh, it's 26 days basically so yeah not 29 so as far as I remember, it lasted six hours, uh, the dead battery, with the batterizer. I said that earlier in the video, so uh, I don't quite remember. Uh, and now without the batterizer, with a fresh battery, we get uh, 26 days of use. Um, and I don't have the exact figure, but I used my computer a lot here in January, finishing off a project. So, so I would say I used it. Uh, a hundred plus hours I don't have the exact numbers but but again it I guess it doesn't really matter so when the battery finally dies if you uh, take it out and put on a batterizer you can get about let's say let's be generous and say five to ten percent extra life out of the battery but if you put it on to begin with the conversion losses in the sleeve here makes it so that it would be the same as not using the batterizer in the best case and you could use it for a bit shorter time in the worst case yeah so it's up to you if you want to pull the battery out to get another six hours of use yeah you'll be the judge and uh, this is it for this video and uh, if you liked this batterizer testing please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you soon for another video and I'll perhaps summarize these uh, batterizer videos also in, an, in another video uh, so yeah see you